Hello there everybody, welcome back to the Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke. I am Stenadux and we are going to continue on our journey through the Johto region. So last time we ended up defeating Whitney to get our third uh, Pokemon badge, uh, Pokemon Gym badge, and uh, we ended up getting a few new faces to the team. Um, right now we got Silver the Skarmory, here I'll show, I'll show that to you guys real quick. So we got Silver the Skarmory, Delia the Mr. Mime, Cherry the Sudowoodo, as well as Clarice the Kangaskhan, and an unknown egg that we got from the uh, breeders. So we've got an interesting team going on right here. A lot of um, very powerful Pokemon. Um, but right now we're going to go head into Route 35, and we're going to get our Pokemon battles on, and we're going to see how this goes. So right now I already know I'm going to switch into Cherry, our shiny um, Sudowoodo, who if you have not seen that episode, I suggest you do. It is episode 2 of this Nuzlocke, randomi Randomizer Nuzlocke, and it was quite an episode. Full odd shiny, and I happen to get it in this playthrough, which is absolutely insane. We got another trainer here. Let's see what we can do. So I think Swift might be a better move. Oh yeah, look at that. Skarmory is definitely a powerful Pokemon, and that much can be seen already. Alright. Oh, that's right, that's two separate trainers. For some reason, I thought it was a double battle. Um, let's see, actually. Would Peck be a good move to use? No, I didn't think so. We're gonna want somebody like Clarice, who I believe has... has Bite, but Comet Punch might not do all that much damage, because it is a normal type move. But, might still be our best bet. Yes. Alright. So yeah, we're making progress here. Um, hoping we can get a decent... Ooh, look at that, a Dragonite. Ooh, that Swift definitely helped. I was a little scared there for a second, but... Now we got an Earth Ring. Silver's definitely going to be a powerhouse on our team, considering his typing. I'm sorry, her typing. Um, seeing as she can... She's very defensive Pokemon, but also has pretty good uh, physical attacks. Um, so right now, let's switch into somebody to get experience. We'll switch into Delia, our Mr. Mime, named after Ash's mom from the anime. We're going to go battle some people. We go up against a level 2 Espeon, which is definitely a little weird. Good, it's Butterfree. Macargo, and Confusion is going to wipe them all out because they are low level and because Delia is a powerhouse. This person, Cool Trainer Pansy, is practicing their fire breathing. So let's take out Ampharos here. Delia's trying to learn Double Slap. Now let's see. Barrier is good for defense. Substitute is also a really good move, but we're going to get rid of Meditate, I think would be the best move here. Because Double Slap is, a definitely, is definitely a good move to have. We use Confusion. Take out that Spearow. And then let's switch back into Clarice. Get Clarice some experience. Yeah, so far so good. Um, we don't face this uh, police officer. We only face him um, while we are uh, while it is nighttime, but it is not nighttime in the game. And real quick, I'm going to check to see if we have any berries. I'm sorry, potions of sorts. So we have two potions and a few super potions. I want to make sure we're stocked up in case we run into a bad situation. Otherwise, we can use the Pokemon Center, but I'd um, rather be safe than sorry. So here's our first encounter for this route. So we're going to see what we can catch. And wow, look at that, guys. That is a Moltres. Right away, I know that this is probably going to be near impossible to catch, but we are going to at least attempt it. Alright, now one more bite should do it. Okay, now what I'm going to do here, just, just to try to see uh, what we can do, I'll use the Super Potion, and then we're going to start throwing some, some balls. So we've got, oh, we've only got uh, four Great Balls. I did not think to grab any more Pokeballs, which is my bad, but we're going to see if I can catch this. The odds are very slim. Yeah, that's what I thought. This might be a lost cause. Although, how great would it be? Let's let's for for the lulls. Let's try a Pokeball. Slow motion for dramatic effect. Nope, didn't think so. We'll try one more, and it might be a no-go. Oh wow! Look at that one shake. We'll try one more great ball. And then let's go and get some Pokeballs so this doesn't happen again. 
Alright, so that's gonna do it. Let's kill it, get the XP. Not completely worthless, but let's go... Let's go grab some Pokeballs. Because I should have gotten those much earlier. Oh, actually, we did. I did grab the bike. I got that before I started recording today. I figured that, uh... I figured that this would be a, uh, a good move to get. Alright, so we're healed up now. Now let's grab some Pokeballs. Oh, don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Gotta go here. Should be this guy here. Nope, next one. Let's do 10 great balls and then a few Pokeballs. Just in case we run into something pretty rare. Potions we should be fine on. Let's try that again. Now we did miss the encounter, unfortunately, on uh, this route here, but that's okay. Our team is looking pretty stacked as it is, and I'm actually not too worried. We do, however, here's the bug catching competition, but we actually don't need to partake because we can just catch something here as it is, since it is still random. Um, let's put Cherry in the front. No, uh, actually, yeah, let's put Cherry in the front just in case there's trainers we can get some XP because Cherry's a little under level compared to the rest of the team. Um, and then let's let's get right into it. Let's see what pops up. All right, here we go. What's it gonna be? A Dodrio. While not terrible, I'm a little disappointed in this. I'm not gonna lie. But we will try to take it down so we can capture it. Okay, now let's go for the Pokeball. Nope, did not catch. Almost there. Let's try a great ball this time around. Nope, that one just broke free right away. Okay, caught the Dodrio. Triple bird. Enemy that takes its eyes off any of the three heads, even for a second, will get pecked severely. Pecked severely, not pecked. <laughs> um, for Dodrio. Um, let's name him. What's a, what's a good name for, like, a trio? Oh. Name him the Stooges. What happens if you find a Dodrio, but each Dodrio has a different gender? Are they, like, what if they identify as something completely different? Are they still all male in this case, or? I don't know. It's a good question. Or would it be, like, more like Siamese twins? Go Cherry with the rock throw. Alright, so uh, I'm actually not going to go crazy here in facing these trainers. Um, I think we should be fine regardless. So we'll keep progressing forward. And if, if, if any case, if I do want to face those trainers for the XP, I can do that later on on my own. Pick up a nice berry from that tree. Now let's go face this trainer here. I forget, is this another route comp uh, as opposed to the route that we were just on? I forget. We do have to go back to Goldenrod to get the um, watering pail, I know for sure. Because we run into the Sudowoodo. Oh no! What just happened? Wow. Wow. Huh. Okay, well. That's going to be a little scary, not going to lie. Exactly the Pokemon I do not run into, so we're going to use Substitute. Okay, he wants to take us down with him. So we're going to try the Double Slap. He's just trying to use Destiny Bond. He's literally just trying to use Destiny Bond. Well, if he's going to try to do that, we're going to use Stooges. And we're going to take him out. Oh, crap, he uses Mirror Coat. All right, um, crap. This is actually pretty scary, guys. Okay. Well, that stinks. That stinks a lot. 
Not only do we lose Cherry, our shiny suit auto. Thank goodness. Oh, crap. There's a trainer there. Aw, oh, jeez. Now we got him a cargo. Um, crap. I should not keep in silver, but I don't know. Uh, crap. I think Delia is going to be our best bet here. We got the highly powerful Confusion to take him out. Okay. There is there another trainer here? Is this, this girl going to tell us about the pseudo -Wido? Yeah, she's going to talk to us about the pseudo -Wido. Oh, Oh, she's going to give us the watering pail. That's right. Alright, so now we're going to go back to Goldenrod and grab that watering pail so we can get past what the pseudo -Wido is. Unfortunately, we lost our shiny pseudo -Wido. Um, So now we have to go and figure that whole situation out. So that's Route 35. This is Route 36, but I believe to the right of this is also Route 36, if I am not mistaken. So that means we already got an encounter there, which means we cannot... Whoops. means we cannot... catch anything. Hmm. Yeah, so is that Route 36? Yes, that would still be considered Route 36. Well, all right. Well, we can't catch anything here then. That's a shame. But still, we lost our our cherry. Jeez, that stinks. I did not think for some reason. I did not think Wobbuffet has counter, and I always make that mistake. I never think about how that Wobbuffet can just absolutely annihilate annihilate us. Oof. I'm going to go all the way back and heal up. You know what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut this part out. Too. All right, guys. After depositing our lost Pokemon, I decided to come back. I, I got the Squirt Bottle. And right now we are going to face what the Pseudo-Odo is. Unfortunately, I do not believe we can catch it because we technically already caught something on this route. So... A um, little bit of a disappointment there, but in any case, it'll be a Pokemon in order to defeat. Hopefully, it's not something too strong, and we can take it out. Not not hopefully anything like a Wobbuffet. Which I'm still disappointed we lost Cherry the pseudo but you know what? These things happen. These things happen, man. Alright, a Vaporeon. Which would have been cold catch, but it might have been actually a little difficult to catch. Ooh. Yikes, that water gun is actually extremely powerful, and I want to make sure that we do not get beat by it. Alright, and we were able to take it out. Alright, so, yeah, I was going to say, that counts as the same route. So, But right above here should be a different route. Unless I am wrong. I, I can most definitely be wrong. Okay, this okay, this is a different route. So we are real quick. We're going to catch something else, and we already, that first tile of grass, we walk into with something. Let's see what we get. A Teddy Ursa. That's actually pretty exciting. All right, now let's see what we can do here. Let's use our pack attack. Ooh, already did a decent amount of damage. Now let's see. Let's let's start using some great balls. I don't know how difficult it is to catch a Teddy Ursa. Oh, look at that. Easy, easy money. It always looks honey, and I already know what I'm gonna name it. Um, definitely something I always nickname uh, Teddy Ursa. It's gonna be Poo. Winnie the Pooh. All right, so not a bad grab. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I also uh, put uh, Bands back on the team after we hatched him last episode. Bands of the Porygon. Um, let me make sure I have the right person in the front here. Um, basically, I might end up leveling him. I'm not quite sure. We'll see what I end up doing. But all right, next set of trainers. We have a War Turtle. Um, that shouldn't be too difficult to take care of. Especially considering we have Clarice up up front, and Clarice is a monster. All right, easy. So we're about to get to Ectrakeek. I don't know how you pronounce it. Ecrutik, Ecrutik. That's what it is. Uh, Swineub. Let's use Let's use Bite. Might be our best bet. All right. And then right here, we are in Ecrutique City. Now let's go heal up our Pokemon, and then we get to explore the Burnt Tower. Oh, that's right, cutscene. Right here is Bill, um, who actually can give us an Eevee, I believe? 
Yeah, so he, we can get an Eevee from him and Goldenrod um, as a gift Pokemon. So we're actually going to, at some point, make our way back there. And we're going to get that gift Pokemon. I forgot about that cutscene. All right. Now, let's see here. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to go into the Burnt Tower, which can also offer us a new Pokemon. Um, right here, I believe, is the... Is this the Burnt Tower? This is... No, this is the uh, tower I'm not allowed into inside right yet. Okay. That's where I believe we go to get um, Ho-Oh in, in, in gold. Yeah, this is the Burnt Tower here. I almost forgot the layout of this game. As you can see, there's the tower that is burnt. Right here is uh, Yusin. Um, he's the one who hunts Suicune as a big Suicune fanboy um, and is searching for Suicune right now. Who happens to be at the... Spoiler alert! Happens to be at the bottom of this uh, tower here. Oh! Let's see. We got wild Pokemon. A Hoot Hoot. Ah, jeez. Shame, because we had a Hoot Hoot our last playthrough. But I... Kind of disappointed in this. A lot of flying type Pokemon that we're getting, a lot of normal type Pokemon. Um, so definitely not something that's, you know, of some variety that can help us, like a fire type. Alright, that was an easy catch. So we got Hoot Hoot. Um, we are going to call Hoot Hoot um, what I call Hoot Hoot in Emerald. Hooty. Right. Okay, so uh, actually this guy here, that is Morty. Morty is, not to be confused with Rick and Morty, he is the gym leader here, um, and he's helping Yusin look for um, Suicune. Oh, we need Rock Smash to go up there. So we actually need to go to the left of this right here. I believe in our Gold and Soul Silver, you take the other way. So we're going to go this way, and we are going to make our way around. If you can see there, that is our rival. He is waiting for us like a creep. Let's see who's leading right now. Okay, yeah, Clarice can lead. I do believe we face our rival here. So we'll be able to take him out pretty easy. And he's also looking for the legendaries, so. All right, let's see what we got. So we're gonna go up against the Lickitung to start. That's not too bad. I'm gonna use Leer to lower his defenses. Oh, even though he used comet, oh, I'm sorry, he used the uh, defense curl to bring his defenses back up. It's almost as if the computer knows every time I lower his defense, he just automatically brings it right back up. All right, we're just gonna take him out because I'm getting sick of him using defense curl every time I use the leer. And we have a Nido Queen that is pretty pretty terrifying. Um, Delia will be able to take Nido Queen out in one confusion, but I'm afraid of Nido Queen using a very powerful move and destroying Delia because she has less defense. We're gonna go into Delia, and we're gonna see what she can do. Okay, she uses double kick, so that's actually pretty good. Um, we'll be able to take out Nido Queen really fast. And now we have Croconaw. All right. Ooh, and we have a Gloom. Okay, and that's going to do it. That's going to do the fight for us. That was a pretty easy fight. I was a little scared there about that Needle Queen, but in any case, we ended up doing fine. And right here, you get the cutscene. I fall down here. What are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are. Serves you right. Well, geez, Jake. Tell me how you really feel. Gosh. All right, now we're going to walk up here, and we're going to find the dogs, and you're going to see they glow in color. There's Raikou, there's Entei, and then lastly, there's Suicune, who Yusin is definitely looking for. Out of all of them, I always grew up liking Entei the most, but as of late, um, I like Raikou's design, especially his shiny in Pokemon Go. I was really looking for him, um, but unfortunately, I did not get to get him. I ended up getting shiny Entei, and my fiancé got shiny Suicune. Um, oh, wow, look at that pussy. But uh, we were not able to get shiny Raikou. Which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, I know there is an event going on currently as of recording this video that they are bringing the dogs back who, where I might be able to get the uh, shiny sweet moon. Or, I'm sorry, shiny raccoon, so we'll see. So, Yusin's very happy he at least got to see Suicune finally. It's incredible that they were looking for the dogs and he ended up being right underneath them, like literally right under their nose the entirety of that time. Alright, so. Um, we now have the ability to face um, you. I'm um, sorry, Morty. 
the gym leader. Um, so we're actually going to do that. Um, I do want to heal up real quick. Um, and we should be able to take him. I am a little bit worried that I am under level, but worst case what I can do is I can, um, I can level them up and then we can see what we can do because we do have a smaller team now and I do believe that Morty's Pokemon are slightly higher in level, I believe, but we will, we will see about, about that. All right. Now the thing with this gym is there is a path you need to follow. Oh geez, I forget this path. Um, there's a path to get to follow because there is an invisible floor. Um, so we're going to have to follow that path, but I completely forget how the path goes. Ooh, a Snorlax. Alright, so he increased his special defense, but that has nothing to do with his regular defense. So Comet Punch is still fair game. Now we're going to use Bite here because um, Bite is a dark type move. Strong, ooh, strong against ghost types. And now we're up against this Steelix, which is going to be... Ooh, it's going to be really difficult here. Um, we're going to lower his defenses as best we can so I can use some more powerful moves. I Comet Punch. All right, we were able to take out him. Okay, good. Clarice really putting in the work here. Thank goodness, because... Uh, I was afraid after it was... I mean, Cherry ended up being the weakest of our three Pokemon... Uh, I'm sorry, of our four Pokemon on our team. But uh, it's still a shame because Cherry is a shiny, was a shiny Pokemon. And it's still really disappointing. So uh, I'm really screwing this up right now. Um, I need to remember this path. Okay, I almost got it there. So I know it was this way. Nope. All right, let's see if I can remember this. Okay, so it's up here. Two to the left, one up, no, okay, no, that's why I screwed up last time, so I'm gonna go here, up two, to the left, go one more, up two, right, and then we're gonna face her, okay. Now we're up against a Krabby, I'm gonna use Swift, should be able to take out the Krabby in a few hits. Alright, and now we, up, we are up against an Ursaroon. Who is really doing us some damage. Alright, now. Let's see where we're going to go from here. Let's go up one. Nope. That did not do it. Alright, so. It was here. Left three times. Up twice. All the way left. Oh, I'm sorry. All the way right. But going up hurt us. So let's try here. Nope. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is going to be fun. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two. What if I went up here? Oh. Look at that. We didn't have to go right at all. Alright. So this Pokemon's actually pretty high level, level 22. That's okay, Silver's gonna take him out. Alright, now let's try going right and seeing if... Oh, okay, that's a pretty straightforward path. I was actually expecting more of a zigzag of sorts. Alright, and we were able to take care of that right away. Uh, now we got a Dragonair. I want to send Delia in on this one. Ooh, that Thunder Wave does not help us. All right, but we were able to take it out. Now we're up against a Vile Plume. Ooh, who is going to do some decent damage? We're going to switch into Silver since he has access to Peck, and hope for the best here. Oh, hurt herself with the confusion because of Petal Dance. So um, we can face Morty, but I'm going to real quick heal the Pokemon up. So they don't um, go up against somebody extraordinarily terrifying and die. <laughs> That's the last thing we need right now. Alright, so let's heal up. And let's let's try this again. Well, you know what we should do, actually? Um, just in case, we should definitely get to the Pokemart and get some healing items. That would be a good idea. Let's go with some super potions. Oh, we have full heals down here. Not full heals, but different types of healing items. So we'll, gra we'll grab one uh, paralyzed heal and then one ice heal. Burn heal. Burns are okay in this game, um, considering you can still fight through them. When you're frozen or paralyzed, it's a little difficult to attack. Um, so I feel like it's okay if you're burnt a little bit because then at least you can... Um, you, you can fight through it, but it is just a little difficult. 
So let's remember this here. So it's literally like almost all the way up. Yeah, up here. Okay. So I got I got the I got the uh, puzzle there. Wasn't too difficult, except for the first few times. All right. So real quick, we're gonna go face Morty, and we're gonna see how this is gonna go. Good of you to have come here. An critique Pokemon have been. It's said that a rainbow-colored Pokemon will uh, come to appear before a very powerful trainer. That is Ho-Oh, the ra legendary rainbow Pokemon, who is not the mascot of this game. The mascot of this game is Suicune. But once we are finished with the um, entirety of the game, you can, I believe, face Ho-Oh and Lugia still. All right, so right away, Morty sends out a level 21 Arcanine, and that's going to be a little scary, especially considering we have Silver out right now. So we're going to switch into Clarice. We should be able to take it out with a few Comet Punches. Wow, look at that. One Comet Punch ended up doing almost all the damage we needed. Ooh, now we got a nice Lugia, who is a Psychic type. Ooh, ooh, ooh this is really scary. Uh, I'm going to use one Tail Whip. Okay, it's going to use Arrow Blast. That's fine. I'm going to use a Super Potion, and I'm going to heal up. This is exactly why you get those potions, everybody. Okay. It missed the arrow blast. It only gets five, so it's used three so far. So now that makes four. <gasps> Crap, guys. It was a crit. Oh, I was afraid of that. Jeez, Clarice, come on. Ah, oh, man. All right, everybody. We got silver out right now. Um, jeez. One swift should help take care of it. Okay. That did it, and now we're going to get a ditto. So let's try to take out the ditto before it starts transforming. Oh, goodness. All right, let's use a Weir, and then get his defenses down, and then use a Peck, and see if that, that didn't really do much. Okay. Now we got a, a Stantler. Um, when we were able to take out the Stantler... No, 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 no. Absolutely not. All right, Delia. Finish it up for us. All right, everybody. Morty's real name apparently was Dancer Donna. Oh, man. But was able to take out Clarice because he had a Lugia. What a, what a way to... What a way to lose two very powerful Pokemon. In this episode, we lost Cherry the Sudowoodo and we lost Clarice the Kangaskhan. Um, not gonna lie, both are very devastating, but... It's not game over, thankfully. Um, there are a few more Pokemon we can ca uh, get along the way. We do still have an egg that has yet to hatch. And we did just catch Pooh Bear. Maybe maybe Pooh maybe Poo can be a good Pokemon to have. But yeah, like I said, guys, we lost a whoa, two very good teammates we had on this team, which is a little scary. But doesn't mean that this randomizer Nuzlocke isn't possible. Um... That arrow blast just happened to get a critical hit, and that was why we lost. So, let's... Oh, man. I do not miss this feature in these games where you had to literally go through every box just to uh, deposit the Pokemon. And we're going to say goodbye to Clarice the King is gone. Clarice, you are such a great Pokemon. Thank you so much. And you're, gonna, you're gone. You're gone. I'm sorry. Um... And these are all the Pokemon that ended up we ended up losing. So Patrick the Starmie, Foot Pincher the Pincer, Bird Person, which is one of the Pokemon. I have another Pokemon named Bird Person. We got Bird Person the Exotu, uh, Cherry the Shiny Sudowoodo. Very disappointing. I love that shiny. Uh, Stooges the Dodrio. We used to sacrifice to make sure that one of our main Pokemon could stay. And we have Clarice the Kangaskhan. Now, if we go into Box 1, though, we'll see who we have left. Which is not many, not many compared to that box. Now we have Hootie the Hoot Hoot that we just got, Burr Person, the Spearow, Fred the Quacksire, and Daisy the Sun Flora. So, um, and then in our in our main party now, what do we got? We have Silver, the Scarmory, Delia, the Mr. Mime, an Egg that is close to hatching, Band the Porygon, and Pooh the Tenagursa. So, considering we do not now have a normal type of Pokemon. Um, with a powerful attack, we're going to definitely probably use um, Teddy Earth and Earth Ring. So, um, real quick before we're done here, uh, I'm actually going to try to um, get one more Pokemon, and we'll get that in the route to the left of here. This is where we're going to be going. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to go right yet. 
Um, we're going to wait to go right until later on. So right now we're on Route 38, and right here, to end off this episode, we're going to catch a new Pokemon. So, let's see what we can get this time around. And we'll face you next time, my friend. No, you're eyeing us. You want a battle. Let's see if we can get actual, actually get a Pokemon. All right, here we go. Let's see what we're going to get. A Meryl. Okay. Not terrible. We do not have a water type Pokemon, and we definitely need one. Okay. All right. Let's go for the Great Ball then. All right. First, first try. We have Meryl uh, has a Jigglypuff icon. That's really cute. Um, geez. Well, I'm not quite sure what we should nickname this. Um, actually, let's name it Jill the Meryl. Actually, I have an even better idea. Let's not just name it the nickname. Let's name it Jillian. Awesome. Okay, guys. Well, what a tough episode. We lost two really great Pokemon. I'm very sad about that. But... Like I said, doesn't mean it's game over. Um, definitely had a lot of fun doing this. Um, again, guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, definitely uh, stay tuned for new content to come. Um, once again, this was Stenadux, and I, you know, I love doing this. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, do all that fun nonsense if you like, or if you don't, who cares? Whatever. Um, in any case, though, um, I will see you guys next time. Have a great one, and until next time, happy gaming.